WY bisects angle. See, up, see, this is an angle mark here. Angle. Um, ZWX. What's angle ZWX? It's this angle. See, ZWX. See how they specify that? That's angle ZWX. Angle. So when they specify an angle, they put in the middle the point the angle's at, and they put on the thing, it's angle W, but they specify it by starting with Z and then going to X. So it's angle Z, W, X. You might wonder, well, why don't they just say angle W? Well, because if they said angle W, how do you know they don't mean just that half or just that half? Well, they mean the whole thing. Well. Well, if that's the case, then how, how sometimes we need just half. How would we talk about that? We can't say angle W. We would say ZWY. This would be angle ZWY. So do you get how we specify angles? It almost looks like a triangle, but you're specifying an angle when you put the angle mark instead of a triangle mark. Let me go back to where it was here. There we go. Yeah, so angle ZWX. So what are they saying then? They're saying that WY, which means this line right here. Okay, let me back up these different color we can see better. So this line right here bisects. What does that mean bisect? Cuts in half. To bisect something means to cut it in half. If you take a sandwich and you cut it in half, you bisect it. So to bisect means to cut in half, which means what? The two parts are equal. You cut it perfectly in half. What does that mean? That means this angle and this angle are equal because WY bisects it. So we have two angles, like maybe this is, I don't know, maybe this is 40 degrees and this is 40 degrees. I'm just guessing, I don't know. And then what else do they say? They say ZW, that's side, see the line above it? That means side, side ZW is, identical to side WX. So ZW, meaning this side and this side, these are equal, like maybe this is 10 and this is 10. Those are equal sides. Okay, so we have, so they've given us two pieces of information so far, haven't they? We've got an angle and a side, an angle and a side. So is that enough information to prove that these two triangles are identical in every way? Seems like we need more information. What else, what else do we know about those two triangles? What else do we know? Do you see how they, um, they both share this side in the middle? Like whatever this side in the middle is, I have no idea, maybe it's eight. It's, it's obviously the same in both triangles because it's the exact same side, huh? So we have that just automatically, don't we? That WY, it's a part of both triangles. It's obviously the same as itself, whatever it is. Let's say it's eight. Then, then that proves we have another side in both triangles. It's the same. So now we have enough information, don't we? Do you see it? Do you see how that is enough information now? Because that's what? Side, angle, in between side, side, angle, side. Same thing here, side, angle in between, side. That's side, angle, side. We have two sides and an angle in between them in the two triangles. So the triangles are congruent, identical by side, angle, side. Remember, any three-letter combo works. All three-letter combos work, as I, as I gave you down here in the notes. Whoops, right up here. Here it is. Every, any three letter combo works except triple A and the bad word, forward or backwards. All the other ones work. So, yeah, that's enough information, side, angle, side. So, um, now you got to be careful when you make the, the statement down here. Triangle WYZ. Let me make it up here for us. Triangle. So, they could start off the first statement any way they want. Triangle. 
W, Y, Z. Triangle W, Y, Z is congruent, identical to triangle. Now, here comes their second statement. Okay, where's W, Y, Z first off? Um, w, Y, Z. There it is. It's the triangle on the left. W, Y, Z. That's identical to what? Well, W has to go with W, right? Here's angle W in the left triangle. Here's angle W in the right triangle. They're, they're obviously the same angle. Y has to go with, well, same thing. Y looks like a right angle, right angle. Y goes with Y in both triangles. And then Z, this one goes with X, doesn't it? In the other triangle. So there's the order, W, Y, X. W, Y, X. So we've got to make sure the orders match up when we make a triangle congruence statement. So that order matters. That order matters a lot. You got to keep that order right. Questions on that one? Good there.